Investing in Education Excellence. This is the mission statement of the Bayfield Community Education Foundation. It is our commitment and promise to the children of the city and town of Bayfield, the town of Russell, and the town of La Pointe on Madeline Island, and the Red Cliff Reservation, which comprises approximately 75% of our student population. We're going to share with you just a few examples of how your donations help our children. But first, a word from our president. Uh, I'm Frank Graves, and I'm the president of the Bayfield Community Education Foundation. Uh, this organization, I believe, is the oldest education foundation in the northern part of Wisconsin. Uh, this next month will be 14 years old. I want to point out that the name is Community Education Foundation. Uh, many people think we're a, a, a arm of the school, and that is incorrect. Uh, we actually are uh, arm of the community, and our function is to represent the school to the community and the community to the school as best we can. Uh, our organization forbids any employee of the school, uh, with the exception of the superintendent, to be on our board of directors. So uh, it is the board of directors is consisted entirely of people from the community and all parts of the community, from Red Cliff, uh, uh, Madeline Island, uh, Bayfield Town, Bayfield City, uh, and the town of Russell, which is the school district. Since our inception, our founding 14 years ago, uh, we have raised close to a hundred thousand dollars i believe it'll be a hundred thousand dollars by the end of this year that we have not raised but in given in grants to various educational institutions and that's to the school primarily and uh, to the both the students to teachers uh, we've given also to non-school functions such as the library and head start and other organizations that are involved in education. Our objective is to achieve, help the school achieve uh, excellence in education. And we think we are succeeding in that we believe, I am convinced, that the Bayfield School is the best school in northern Wisconsin and we are fortunate to have the school where it is because we have uh, over half of the student body is from Redcliffe, uh, uh, the reservation of the lakes, the Redcliffe land of the uh, Lake Superior Chippewa. Uh, they have excellent, some, some of our very best students, some of our most uh, achieve the best achievement comes from some of those uh, Red Cliff students. So we're very fortunate to have this great school and uh, we are uh, our effort is to make it better uh, as the years go by. We've raised a considerable amount of money uh, which goes into our trust fund which uh, earns dividends and interest uh, that we use for grant money to our applicants. Uh, but we believe that the budgets of the schools are going to get tighter and tighter. So we would like to be able to raise much more money uh, so that we can have more uh, money to spend in grants to support the school. Uh, we hope that the viewers will consider this uh, as they look at our website and uh, read our newsletter. Bob Nelson, a Bayfield's local historian, shares a brief but comprehensive insight into the Bayfield School District's rich history. Yeah, I'm uh, Robert J. Nelson. They call me Bob Nelson. 
I've been affiliated with the Bayfield School District since probably 1956 when I, when I went into the grade school there and uh, I graduated from Lincoln High School in 68 and then I came back to the board uh, as a board member of the Board of Education in 2002. It's my eighth year at uh, Bayfield Schools and I was the president of the school board for three and a half years. Had a wonderful experience and uh, my major thrust and, and always has been has been the history of this wonderful institution which uh, started got its uh, foot in the sand up there back in about 1858. In, a, in effect uh, July 19th 1858 the first public school opened in Bayfield under the tutelage of a young lady by the name of Miss Sarah Mahan. There was a great need for a school in, in the city of Bayfield as it was constructed in 1856. The state of Wisconsin became a state in 48. And uh, this is a period of time where the Native American children were learning to speak English. And the uh, Swedes and the Finns and the Germans and the, and the Irish that were in the area, and English that were in the area at that point in time, um, all the parents wanted their kids to have a public education. There begins the school district of Bayfield. Um, on that date. Um, the district itself has evolved into many different institutions as it's gone. It went from this little public school, from a private school to a public school, to um, a school district that built the school in 1871 that was on the corner of Washington Avenue. The, uh, the first school was built on Washington Avenue and 2nd Street. It was called the Washington Avenue School. It harbored uh, probably 120 kids in 1871. The population of the school district in 1858 was 10, 20 children. By 1866, we now had 40 some children in the school, with a high of 60, I believe, by about 1867. Uh, by 1871, we're looking at 120 children. As the city grew and as the community grew, the uh, need for another school became apparent. So in 1886, the district built a school called the Central School, also known as a low school. It, it harbored a probably close to 120 to 140 kids up there. They now had two schools in Bayfield, one at Washington Avenue, one up uh, near where the Faith Baptist Church is now, the Central School. That became too small as the population of Bayfield grew from 50 people in 1858 to roughly 1,700 people at the turn of the century, the community grew just like the school would need to do. So they built the Lincoln High School. 1895, that baby opened her doors, and we've been uh, a part of that school district ever since until the revamp of uh, the new school district. In the, the, there's been about four different additions to the school, the latest being 2002, in which we spent $8.3 million to build the school. The uh, cost of the Lincoln School back in 1895, $25,000. So uh, that's kind of like a quick history of the school. We've gone every, from everything in there to being a, just a, a math and science and, and type of school to a, a very broad-based school at this point in time, which includes vocational tech ed type of programs to, the, to a wider range of Native American studies and all kinds of um, the curriculums that really will bring each and every one of our kids to the world of work and the world of, of education later.